It's a mystery. How we make our way through Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So join us as we go through the I Am No Progression series. But um bum bum. <laughs> Previously on the I Am No Progression series. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Another upstart gob. Painful choice. Okay. This is like the best opening we've ever had. Here it is, twin long rods. Bruh. It's a wild name, Twin Long Rods. Ho! Hit him with the ho! The forceful sentry. Ho! All right. Three giant rats. Okay. Okay. God dang it. I literally said I didn't want to get Serpent Knight Dragon because though it is a Seeker Air, it is not a card that you'd actually play. Ooh, Cyber Jar and Dark Zebra. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I okay, Relinquish. That's an Ultra Rare. Ugh, I need it. I needed to be like Snatch Deal or something. Um, let's see, Giant Trune. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Rush Recklessly, that's a good one. Banisher of the Radiance. Yeah, so I got literally nothing, I feel like. Let's see. This is the third pack in a row. I'm really unlucky with this. I've got, I got one Ultra Rare. Special summon this thing. And I can second yes, draw a demo, but I don't have to flip coins. You can't. You <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's fucked up. Exactly, and this is 400 over that, and then uh, 14 directly will be game. Unless you have Karibo or some shit, random. No, 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 that's it. Yeah. It's your turn. It's your turn. All right, we're going to attack Giant Soldier of Stone. Flip a coin. Of course yes. you get heads. Yes. Of course you get heads. Yeah. A fucking course you get heads. The Gumo, you work for me now. <laughs> you know, low on life, so I'm just going to go with whatever and see what happens. All right, you win. Okay, you win. yes, 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 we got there. I was scared. My Relinquished deck actually oh, came through man. somehow. All right, welcome back to the channel. So I am here with Kenny, and this is episode four mm. of the I Am There Progression series. Yes, it is. And today we are going to be opening Feral Servant, which is the fourth ever set of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's crazy. This is when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is, this came out October 20th, 2002. And I think that that lines up with me being in like seventh grade or something like that but feral servant was the first pack that i ever opened i don't think i opened it when it was brand new i'm pretty sure i got into Yu-Gi-Oh months after this came out already uh but this is the first set for me i got a first edition feral servant jinzo and why don't we just take a look at what's in it because i don't remember oh god look. there he is oh there he is god i forgot Imper imperial so, order comes out of the set so this is the first set that has good secret rares Yes, because they have been unplayable. And I've packed many secret rares. I've you, packed you've Serpent got, Dragon. I think a secret Yeah, you got a secret rare in like every box. <laughs> yeah, like I've pretty much got a secret rare in every box. Um, I've gotten two Thun Trihorn Dragons. I didn't even realize that they were secrets. Kenny had to tell me they were secrets because I just tributed for it like it was nothing. And then I got Serpent Knight Dragon in the last episode. I don't think I got one out of Metal Raiders. I might have gotten Thousand Dragon without realizing it. I don't think so, though. Uh, but I, I could have because that card is not playable. So I would have just went past it really quickly. But yeah, yeah, the secret rares in this set are both really good. I, <laughs> one of them is Toxic. <laughs> So one, did you say one of them are toxic? Imperial order is toxic. That shit came back. The modern Yu-Gi-Oh was running the game for yes. like a year or more. But Jinzo's toxic. He's going to be toxic in this format for a long time. Yeah. Jinzo's pretty, pretty broken. Um, what else? I love how have? in this set, they were like, we're going to introduce two cards that shut down. Cause like they both do the same thing in a way, yeah. right? Like Jinzo and Imperial order shut down the fucking game in one way or another. So. Yeah, spells and traps. I, I never know. You know what's crazy? I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! for a very long time, right? I've never noticed at any point that Jinzo and Imperial Order were in the same set and that one stop spells and one stops traps and their secret rares. That never occurred yeah. until just now. They're like a little team. Yeah. A little fucked up team. And one's a, I like that one's a trap too. It's kind of funny. Okay, so what I'm noticing though, this this website that we're using, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro deck, uh, what, where are the ultra rares? Am I missing something? Oh, okay. Mm. It's out of order. Uh, so I guess yeah, we'll just go the way they show it. So the super rares, we got Dust Tornado is here. Nolman a cross out. Uh, limiter removal. Gear Freed is an 1800 monster, which is good. It's a gen it doesn't have a drawback, so that's that's decent, I guess. Um, yeah. Mirror Wall is actually good, too, now that I think about it. Mirror Wall will be good in progression series. Mirror Wall is good. It's also... It's it can be good in its own right, just for what it does. It's also good if you happen to get the right cards as time goes on to set up cheese. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, let's see, and then rares. So we got some good rares here. Nolman of Extermination. Uh, let's see, what else? I w see, I don't wanna, I don't really wanna go this route 
a gravity bond is in this set and from what i've been told this is where the progression series can get like stall tactics so i want to yeah. ask you now do you want to establish like a truce on doing stall tactic stuff because apparently it can get really bad with level limit area b messenger of peace and gravity bond where it just becomes we don't really have that many outs to those cards to begin with um yeah 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 and it just it makes it where like it's not fun like it's like okay you summon monsters i activate one of these cards and now i have swords of and light for the whole game until you like draw your one maybe your your maybe one out to it so i kind of don't even yeah, want to play really them really weird yeah personally i don't want to play them that's like my vote um like yeah i, I do not want to play the stall cards the cards that literally have to like floodgate stall cards like this <laughs> from the early sets i just think that until we get to a point where we have multiple back row removal cards these are just yeah. bad for the for a viewer experience and for a dueling experience like these are just bad for the game they do seem like they could be quite rough yeah so they do seem like they could be quite rough. So what's your take? Do you want to also just like not play with them? I mean, even without this conversation, I probably wouldn't have played Gravity Bind All anyway. Because right, I didn't want to be like <laughs> super homo and just start running Gravity Bind, level limit area B and Messenger of Peace and just like, oh, it's stall, never stall, really stall. been. Yeah, never really been my strategy. Me either. So. You met me and you know, I, I didn't play like a stall deck that's never been my i'm a i'm a vanguard kind of guy i like to attack i like to summon things i complain yeah, about yeah. setting monsters in edison format right so like yeah i mean i i wouldn't really play it anyway yeah. if i did it would only ever be like i would never really play it like i've i think we've talked about this before but like when i played pokemon like i wasn't about that stall life okay yeah like I, that's true yeah me and you both are, are relatively the same because you play competitive pokemon and you you weren't really big into like stall nah, I fucking, stall I strategies killed you. yeah like you were like i'm attacking like you're getting yeah. attacked <laughs> like i might do some trick shit but it's not tricky where it's like to stall the game out and win that nah. way so magic drain is also pretty good uh this card is baby magic jammer so your opponent has to basically discard a second spell card if they want to activate a spell card so like if you play heavy storm and someone flips magic drain they have to discard an additional spell card for the heavy storm to go through so it's pretty good yeah. early on the i remember magic release. drain back yeah. in the day being really nice me too like, i always really liked it because it's like you play it so you can like one for one there it's like a because at this point in time in order for you to magic drain them you have to like minus yourself Whereas right. now if I magic drain you, it just straight up gets negated and then I don't really lose any card advantage right, or you have one. to you have to discard a card and it's like, okay, you destroyed more of my cards, but now you paid two cards to do it. Right. So it's like, I yeah. don't know. Magic right. drain's sick. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Azuri, I don't know if this is how you actually say this card's name. Makaiser, some people say I've heard. But when a monster is from the field to yeah. the graveyard. <laughs> he is not Makaiser. Ma I've heard Makaiser. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that I've heard Makaiser. When a monster is from the field to the grave, even during a damage step, target one monster on the field, destroy it. So this is a rare card that blatantly says you could use it during the damage step, even though Yu Gi Oh!'s rulings will say that this card can't be activated in the damage step because it doesn't modify yeah. attack and defense. Um, but it does blatantly say that you can, so obviously you can. It's just interesting that this is one of the rare cards that does this type of thing. And this yeah. is not bad. This is actually pretty not good. Not bad, especially in a Ooh. recruiter type format. Yes. Like giant rats and shit like that. Yeah, this card's pretty nice actually. So uh, I'm noticing that in general, there's just like more traps going on. So yeah, we got some good traps. Yeah, maybe I'll get a trap. Maybe you'll get a trap. Okay, ultras, here we go. Call and haunt it. That's probably the biggest thing that came out of here. Call of Hunt is still being played in like Edison and stuff like that, and things that came out way Goblin after this. Attack Force. Yes. Good old. There's my Jirai Gumo right there. <laughs> yeah, without <laughs> the drawback. And 100 stronger. Yeah, um, I need to get him. He's an ultra rare, though. So. Ooh, Premature Burial. This is, uh, this is a good card. That's... It's a good card. Ceasefire. Yeah. Ceasefire stops Magician of Faith, stops Mask of Darkness. All the flip effect stuff. So this is a pretty good one as well. I think the Fiend Mega Cyber is also not bad. If your opponent controls at least two... Fiend Mega Cyber is good. Yes. If they control two more monsters than you do, you can special this card from your hand. So if they start to out-tempo you, you can just drop this guy like a Cyber Dragon. This is the first Cyber Dragon, yeah. essentially. Um, He's very good. I don't remember this one. I just think it's funny that we're at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh! They, they've gotten better at making cards. So it's funny that they're still making shit like Beast of Tall War. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's like true. Just, I just like an this ultra card. rare, like vanilla. I love the art. Me but it's too. Like, why? Why? Yeah, he's already kind of outclassed because Jinzo's in like, this set too. Uh, summon Skull. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Came out like 
two sets before him. Yeah, very, very outclassed Beast of Tall War. Uh, and then here was my favorite card that I lost my first edition Pharaoh Servant Jinzo. I traded it for this thing, which in hindsight was a bad deal. But as a kid it's who did that- trade in an Ultra for a Secret. I didn't know any better. I didn't know anything about or rarities. vice versa, I mean. Yeah, I just saw this and I was like, oh, Pegasus used this on the show last weekend, like literally last weekend. So I just wanted it and I traded <laughs> it. But yeah, this card is, uh, this card is cracked and its own way, but obviously we're not playing go format. And then we have some short prints. Uh, okay, Tom Seal. You know what I just realized? We still, I only thought of this because Gift of the Mystical Elf just made me think of it. Wabaku still isn't around, huh? I thought that, that came in a starter That's crazy. deck. crazy. I thought Wabaku it does come in a starter deck, but I just assumed, I'd assumed it would have been in one of these packs too. Yeah, but I guess it, it probably does get reprinted at some point, but I remember Wabaku, I think, being in the starter deck because we all played three of it oh, when it I first started. It 100% comes in the starter decks. Okay. I just also thought, I guess throughout all the years, I always just assumed like the starter decks are a compilation of cars that already exist in sets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Usually that's what starter decks are, except, and then they'll have like an exclusive card. But so I don't see anything uh, time, too crazy. Time here. seal. Yeah, I time, see something crazy. Yeah, just I, I, like time seal for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I don't know if any of these normal monsters have like decent stats or something. Like this four star guy here. Nah. Nah, terrible stats. Uh, you let me nah, know. It's... DNA surgery is good later on. I don't know. Oh, uh, Har my boy Harpy's brother. Which when the that's fuck not did his they name. change his name? His is name is not Scott Scout. Wait, his name they, is not Sky Scout. When did they change him from from Harpy's that's brother? That's Harpy's to Sky brother. Scout? That's literally Harpy's brother, though. Like that's actually this is also one of the sickest cards. When I was young, seeing yes. this guy was one of the sickest cards ever. I played them he just because he boy. looked like Goku to me. Yeah, he's my boy. He just has Goku's I, hair. Him being called Sky Scout threw me the fuck off. I'll it tell did you that right now. It did. Oh, Cold Wave's in this. Cold set. Wave. Okay. That's a big one. Cold Wave, four star Ladybug of Doom, destroy all level four monsters your opponent controls. Yeah. Uh, I can see that being good. Uh, yeah, so this is the set. We are going to crack it open. But before we do that, why don't I spin the wheel since I won the last episode? Let's see what I get from in the wheel. Magic Ruler. Okay, real quick. A rich get richer. It's like I'm playing Pokemon all over again, the card game. <laughs> Shut up. Kill my guy and get a prize card. What the hell is going on? That here? is Pokemon, isn't it? All right. So we are here with the wheel. This is going to be for theoretically any card out of the last set, which would have been Magic Ruler. Uh, and if not, it'll be Tournament Packs or a Mulligan Ticket. And then there's this one that says any card, which is like, I think it's a 2% chance. The same as getting a Ruby or Emerald in Monster Hunter. So let's just see what happens. All right, we're getting a rare. A rare. Okay, so I get a rare from Magic Ruler. Now we're at the part where we can officially open our own sets individually of Pharaoh Servant. So we will rejoin in a second. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're going to open up a box of Pharaoh Servant. Now, here's the deal. I really need to get something good out of this box because Kenny has two mulligan tickets and I only have one left, which means that I don't want to use that until Invasion of Chaos. And the last couple sets have been really, really cruel to me. So I'm just hoping to God that I get something really good. That is kind of like the thing here. Uh, yeah, so let's just see what happens. All right, not the best starting off. Uh, nope still oh okay i got imperial order on the third pack that is a very good sign uh that's definitely one of the cards that i wanted to hit so not mad at that at all i just need like a little bit more hopefully because we're still really early on i don't know if that alone is enough shallow grave okay let me get some sky scouts i need some some 1800s all right we got legendary fisherman which once we get to a legendary ocean i do like that card uh magical hats all right hayabusa knight Force Requisition, Prohibition, and I saw a Sky Scout. Another Force Requisition, Appropriate, Vampire Baby, Mad Sword Beast, Morphing Jar. So far, the only real thing to note has been Imperial Order, which is like, yes, it's good, but... Uh, okay, Goblin Attack Force, and a Sky Scout, and a Mitch's Array. All of those are really good. Gear Freed, sure. Mirror Wall, Nolman of Exterminion. Okay. Really? I always get multiple secret rares, but why would it be two Imperial Orders? That doesn't even make any sense. That's annoying. That's just, that's just annoying. 
Like, I don't even really have anything else to say about that. Okay, so let's see what we got. 99% um, I'm not using a mulligan ticket no matter what I get, so I pretty much have to keep this. So I'm just hoping... Okay, I did get three Sky Scouts. But Mirror Wall is really good. Michizuri is really good. Goblin Attack Force is really good. So I like a lot of the things here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go with this. Okay, here we are. Whew. All right, Secret Rare, first pack. Here we go. 24 Saver... Blah, blah, blah. Barrows Servant. Alrighty. Boom. Okay. Parasite, Parasite. This is the card that people would steal when you were little. Like, go in somebody else's deck and then you walk away with it. Clean up your cards and you walk away. Morphing Jar number two. Not quite Morphing Jar. Ooh, Nobleman of Cross Out. Frazier doesn't like setting monsters, but... Well, not much. We're like... <laughs> <laughs> How do you do the Bane voice? I was born in the darkness. How do you do the Bane voice? I can't do I don't remember. I have to hear it. If I can hear it, I can do it. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Nobody cared who I was till I took off the mask. Okay, so that's pretty fucking exciting. Um, holy shit. That's actually really exciting too because even though I think I pulled a bunch of traps in this pat in this set, but uh, traps in this set, I don't know, they fucking suck for the most part. I'll look through them again, but they fucking suck. What's really exciting about this for me is I haven't had any strong tribute monsters, and Frazier has all the fucking trap cards. I don't have the trap. I don't have traps. Frazier has a bunch of traps. So this is exciting. I think this might be the first secret rare I pulled. Maybe not. I probably pulled a trash secret. I don't know. Anyway, um, I got the ma mask on right here, baby. So that's fucking, <laughs> that's really fucking hype. So we got Jinzo. Um, we can pack up and go home now. We got Jinny Jin Jinzo. That is very exciting. Hmm, another Sky Scout. I might have to put some uh, defense back in my deck, maybe. A couple more 2,000 butts just to, like, wall up for Jenny Jin Jinzo. Jenny Jin Jinzo. Uh, okay. Not seeing much else. Buster Blader. Buster Blader is cool. Um, yeah, I kind of just was, like, hitting next, 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 next. A lot of these cards are not exciting. Uh, I've gotten fucking four vampire babies. Like, how many fucking vampire babies do I Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, ooh, magical hat. That could be fun. That could be fun. All right, nothing, nothing more. Can I get a uh, Imperial Order? I don't think that's possible, right? Can't you? I oh, know you can get more than one Seeker. Cause Fraser got two Trihorn Drag. So I guess you can get more than one Seeker rare. For some reason, I thought you could only get one Seeker. Um, but I guess you can get more than one because Fraser got two Trihorn. Oh, Mr. Volcano! This seemingly mild-mannered creature has an extremely volatile temper. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> it's just a joke. Come on. Don't, don't shoot. Don't, shoot. Yeah, don't really. Don't, really. don't shoot. Whoa. Um, okay. So the big things in this set are that we got our Cold Wave and Jinzo, I think. I think that's the, the big enchilada. Jinzo, no women across out's good. No premature barrel. I forgot. Premature barrel was in the That's actually an exciting card too. Alright. Uh I'll read over some of these random cards that I know suck. And um I'll build the deck and then see what happens from there. All right, so this is what I came up with. Uh, it is just a beatdown deck. I know last week I was playing Relinquished and that was fine, but it is a really big car commitment and it worked out that time, but I could feel where things could go terribly wrong, especially having to play like the Crab Turtle Dude and all that. So I just went back to like basics. I did get Imperial Order. I got two of them actually. Um, and I think I'm allowed to play two, but I'm just not going to, at least for right now. Uh, in terms of upgrades, I just filled my deck with as many 1800 monsters as I could as always. And then we also got like a gear free, which this could actually be pretty bad because I can't equip it with Malevolent Nuzzler, but it is Earth for what it's worth. And so is the Dark Zebra. Um, and I know Kenny was playing like an Earth deck last game. So that might come up other than that. 
we also got a pair of mirror walls and this car is really good like it has the attack and you can use it in the damage step and you can keep it up for 2000 life points which he's been paying half a lot so i feel like if i can just pay 2000 that's not a bad trade um and then this thing is just like generic removal so this is also pretty good i added that second copy of rush recklessly and then we just have like our you know battle helping spells and our draw spells and monster barn and all that good stuff uh, we're down to 19 monsters. I could be a little light, especially considering that I'm playing Cyberjar. So I'm hoping that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with this. I I'm just hoping for the best. We will see how it goes. Okay, we're back. All right, this is the deck that we threw together. It's tricky. It's tricky. So <clears throat> initially, when I threw this together, I took out a lot of the Earth stuff. I took out the three Gaia powers, um, and I went with full Recruiter. Basically, I went. Uh, UFO Turtle. I only have two of them, though. I went, like, UFO Turtle and, like, Shining Angel and Giant Germ and Giant Rat and the plant and obviously Witch. And the plan was to get Jinzo out. Bin the deck as much as I can, recruiters to wall up, and then draw Jinzo. That was, like, the plan, right? Seems like a good fucking plan to me. I don't know. Um, But I think I want to keep the Earth stuff and so I swapped back. I have my side deck in case I kind of want to switch into it. I'm not entirely sure, but the plan here, kind of in the middle of both. Maybe that's a mistake, but Cyberjar is great. We have the Giant Rats, which are still a really strong recruiter. They can recruit into themselves. They can grab Muka Muka, and they can grab Mad Sword Beast, which is the reason why I went back to Earth. It, Mad Sword Beast pierces and under Gaia power is a 1900 which I feel like is pretty good I'm thinking you know giant rat recruits himself can recruit in the mad sword beast under Gaia power that's a 1900 piercer um so I was like hmm, that kind of seems nice I have one Muka Muka one Jirai Gumo the legend uh one Harpy's brother there was three but I went down the one one giant soldier of stone who's good in defense position until I get Gaia power up. He's just kind of there. Maybe he could come out. It's hard to say. Magician of Faith is fucking Magician of Faith. Jinzo is Jinzo. We have Hain Hain. We have the Cold Wave, of course. Mothra Reborn, Heavy Storm, blah, blah, blah. The rest of it is kind of... It's it's what it's been, but I can kind of swap... Some of my side deck is just cards that I swap in and out while I'm making the deck. So not all this is necessarily side deck. Some of it is like UFO Turtle where I legitimately feel like... Maybe that's the better option, and I could take some stuff out to put UFO Turtle back in. I'm not sure. I had more Harpy's Brothers in, but I ended up taking two of them out for Share the Pain and Tribute to the Doomed. On the off chance, Fraser still playing Restrict. Um, not Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, Relinquished. I want some way of getting rid of them without attacking. These aren't the best choices, but they're what I have. Share the Pain and Tribute to the Doomed, so... They're not the best choices, but... Relinquish can be annoying, so I don't know. I guess we'll see where this goes. Uh, I'm still rocking the Earth feel, just with the added Jinzo. I think this is gonna. I think this should work. I think this should work. Let's see how it goes. All right, good luck, King. As always. Good luck. Good luck. Obligatory die roll <laughs> instead of rock paper scissors. Dueling book, please, God, please, just die roll. You just click it. I will take a die. coin flip too. I will, I will take a coin flip. Like I'm fine with that. Yeah, coin flip, whatever. Just please. All right. God oh, damn it. Please, please, dueling book. All right, I will start. All right, my die roll. I still make it a die roll. I don't care what they try to force on us. It's still a die roll for me. <laughs> Please, Dolan Book. Please. No, please just Dolan do book, it please. the right way. Yeah, we're going to start off with a little... I just want to know how many times did you go to a tournament and played rock, paper, scissors with the guy sitting next to you? Never. You don't do that. You fucking... You go high roll, and then you roll it. Never not once. Uh, and sometimes you play against Cairo, and he says low roll. Set, and... Yeah, we'll just pass like that. I mean, just pass. Just pass. Yes. All right. We might as well. We might as well have a little pot of duality. Oh yes. Ah you know I mean? oh, yes. We're just potting around. We might as well be one and the same, you and I. <laughs> one and the same. Pop um. Just casually being in our decks is so not okay. 
It's just, just hanging out. out. Yeah, just, just hanging casual. out. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Face down, monster. That it that's is. a monster. That's face down. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I want to make progress, but what could it be? I hate going second. <laughs> <laughs> you better get used to it. You're going to go second 50% of the time. I hate going second. You're literally you going to go second 50% of the time. Why couldn't I set a monster first? I mean, um, it'd be like that. Let's uh, let's see what it is. Yep. Fuck. He's big. <laughs> He's really big. <laughs> let's attack. Yep. Uh, okay, it's just saying, man. No worries. I will get a magician. Magician of faith. Indeed. Okay. So what's he? Fourteen plus seven. Twenty-one. 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 All right. Shuffle the hand up. What do we want to do here? Okay, for sure. I wonder what that card is. <laughs> Let's just say I'm happy that neither one of us got change of heart. Or at least I don't think you what, did. What card is that? Fuck it. Yep. Attack. Yep. Main phase two. Yep. Put Potter Greed back. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. You got Rush Recklessly, Mirror Wall, Madur, Harpy's brother. I should screenshot that, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> you can also write it in the chat, it's fine. Alright. Cool. That'll be my turn. Alright. Uh, let's see. Go for a little Sky Scout action. Crack over her. Oh. I take, uh, what, 700? Yes. Okay. I mean, I guess you'll... If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. So, uh, he's here. He's, he's here. He's hanging out. He's having a good time. Well, um, fuck. Okay. Someone packed a Jinzo. Yeah, you know, I mean. You got a Seeker Rare, finally. It is a, is a problematic one. Not the fucking Jinzo. I'm bad at math. Just want to do this. All right. I will summon Mooka Mooka. Yep. Mooka Mooka. Mooka Mooka. Two, three, four, five. Uh, attack. So he's at 2100, right? Yes. Um, I guess we'll go damage step on my Sky Scout. Okie dokie. Don't call him that. I know. It's annoying seeing that name. Harpy's brother, but yeah. Cool. How much do I take? So I'm at 25. So you take 400 because you're at 21. Can you do something for me? Yes. Cool. Alrighty. Main phase dose. Main phase that was dope. some cute shit you did with the Force of Century. You waited till I got back my damn pot and then put it back. That was ignorant. <laughs> Granted, you did put Pot of Greed back in my deck, but it's better than me playing Pot of Greed again. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I just... <laughs> I was like, all right, let me kill this Magician of Faith. He's going to get pot. Yep. Let's fucking get rid of it for now. Yep, that was good. I did Let's, not expect uh, that. Force of Century is annoying. See what happens from there. So, what to do, what to do. I think this is okay. I think this is... Nah, fuck it. There's no... Mm, fuck it, I'm just gonna play swords. Yep. I was gonna not play it, but I'm playing it. Turn one. Alrighty. I have to go through this fucking card every game. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite the obnoxious card. I don't mind it because it's only three turns, but... Could you imagine, mm -hmm. like, all right, gravity bind you? Like, what am I supposed to do? I actually just don't have outs to gravity bind. Uh, reborn? Right. Yep. Uh, witch, and yep. then I'm a tributor. Do your thing. Do your thing, 21. And then we search our deck. Oh my, I feel like I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Playing actual Yu-Gi-Oh. It would be cool to get. Mm, fuck it. I'll get her. All right. Ooh. Uh, all right. Battle phase attack. So I take 600. And then I end my turn. Alright, 
turn two. Yes, sir. My please, brother. Uh, <laughs> attack with Jinzo. Oh, magician of faith. Um, let's see. I was hoping that'd be Aqua Mador. Oh, get my oh. rush. He's so reckless. Now you're coming in for what? Is it 18. Yeah, attack with Sky Scout, the mm -hmm. brother of the harpy, mm -hmm. and then uh, end my turn. He's so reckless. <laughs> oh, he's so reckless. He has a flying speed exceeding Mach five. Yes, Jesus bro, Christ, he is an actual Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> what the fuck? He's an actual Dragon Ball Z character. Why is he so fast? That's absurd. Twenty-one. Yes. All right. I draw a card. I draw a card. Okay. 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 Main phase. Oh, one. swords is gone. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can I bring back my treeborn? No. no <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm over here with fucking Aquamador, and you're like, yeah, summon treeborn frog. <laughs> summon treeborn frog. Use my calculator. And before Snatch Deal. Nah. Oh man, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let me Snatch Deal be kind of crazy. Um, okay. I will summon a giant rat. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Battle phase attack with Jinzo. Right, I'm just gonna. Yeah, attack with Jinzo. All right. Uh, damaged up. Damaged up good. And then this is where me being out of practice with Yu Gi Oh comes into play. I don't remember how this works. All right, ask away. If it's something that you shouldn't do, I will tell you. Okay, so if we're if we're both playing Black Wings and I attack, right, and you collude, can I collude afterwards or do I have to collude first? You can collude afterwards. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I attack. All right, damaged up. Yeah. Uh, so make my guy go to 2,800. Okay. Then I assume you have your own. Correct. Right. Yeah. All right, so I take 300 there. I couldn't remember if it was like, if I pass on the prior, like if I pass on doing it, and then it's like, I don't know. Yeah, like if it just, if there's just one chain or whatever, and if you don't yeah, do it, yeah. yeah, I got you. No, you're fine. All right, so um, you did that, and then it's going to be 18 and 14. 14, yeah. Oof, I am that's low. it. I am low. All right, this is going to change everybody. He switches position. everything to defense mode, right? Yes, that's basically what it does, yeah. Okay, that's all. That's it. It's just everybody at a defense mode. Yeah. Attack this guy. Right Jinzo, no! It's like a fucking Book of Eclipse. A Book of Eclipse wouldn't even be that bad here. Because Book of Moon is also really good. Which, I don't know. Oh, Book of Moon <clears> comes <throat> out in Pharaonic Guardian, I think. Okay. I'll put everybody back in attack mode, right? I'm allowed to do that now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Attack with... Harpy's brother. Uh, damaged up good? Yes. So your guy goes to 900, so you just take 900. Okay. That's actually not the mirror wall doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh. I, was th I was thinking, you know what I th card I thought that was? When, when we looked at mirror wall and I said like, oh, that card's really good for doing cheesy stuff later on. I thought it was wall of revealing light. Oh no, no. That card, no, no. that card. So, yeah. Not how I remember that card. No, we'll I just got the cards toxic. mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, I got the cards mixed up. Anyway, uh, main phase two, that one. And. Yeah, I thought that was, for whatever reason, I thought mir Mirror Wall's effect was Wall of Revealing Light. Yeah, no, I got you. Okay, we will not pay for that. Oh, why not? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea, you know? Like, I thought about it and I was like, doesn't seem like a good idea. Ah, all seven colors. <laughs> Not all seven colors. All right. The grave, I take 400. Yep. And then I search my decky poo. My decky decky deck. My decky decky deck. And is it just another rat that I get? Yeah, it's just another rat. I'm gonna get a rat. Um, I'm gonna shuffle again because I don't trust dueling book. So I'm thinking, just another magic Monday. Yeah. I guess we'll attack this. The grave! Um, and then, it'd be so nice to draw that card, but... 
I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and destroy this face down monster. Oh man! Some ho shit. <laughs> not that some, was some fucking ho shit. Not some ho what shit. The hell? Just being a ho. Just another magic Monday. <laughs> that was some fucking ho shit. Oh god, what is this? Is this car? Oh, this is the piercing guy. Okay. Yeah. Mad sword beast. I remember this card. Oh man, that's frustrating. Okay, okay. He's a ho. Michizuri oh, or Makaiser. Good old Makaiser. He's a ho for show. Sure. We're down kind of bad this game. I'm not gonna lie. How do I get through? How do I get through? Set. Set. Defense. Turn. There goes the sword beast. All right, some some things never die. I thought you were past this part. <laughs> nope, nope. He's the giant soldier of stone. He is. I thought we were past this. And he's like, nope. I still got big butts, and I cannot lie. That's right. That's right. He's a giant soldier. I haven't seen those fucking oh, spiders no. today. That's why I'm, wait, I'm looking at your life yeah. points, and your life points are so high. That I'm thinking about how long it's gonna take to kill you now. Because <laughs> like before. Before I could just actually kill you in one battle phase. Literally every game we play since those spiders came out, I've gotten one battle phase and you've just died in that one battle phase. And that was it. And it's so wild that, that we're it. we're actually trading back and forth. So somebody has just like calmed the <laughs> fuck down. <laughs> Cause like the spiders the spiders are nowhere to be found. I just find that to be hilarious. Listen, I packed Jinzo and I said, okay, now my plan is to summon Jinzo. That's my plan. Is the summon good? Oh man, I fucking guess so. All right, I guess summon skull is good. That's all I got. Ooh, activate this card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack. Um, what set does this come out of? Last set, or I think. Oh, it was the last set. And then uh, giant germ. Ooh, I take five hundred. Take five hundred. And then I summon an attack. And an attack. Oh, that's right. There's no more. Uh, but no, you, no, no, yeah, that's it. That's you, it. you do take damage. Do you take 800? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Okay. Start turn. Okay. The spider. Oh, shit. They are here. I think that's game, right? Yeah, that's game. Because uh, it's 29. And yeah, that's over 1,000. All right. All right, on the board. It's the first game one we won. Is it really? I think that's the first game one we won, yeah. Damn. I think I've only won game twos so far. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was going to say, the by the time they see this, the episode will be out for the previous one. We're recording this before I even, like, I haven't even edited the third episode yet. Because so, <laughs> I was, like, confused for a second. Like, wait, what? Um, let's see. I don't want to change anything. See, the spiders aren't all gone. Clearly. <laughs> They're still hanging out. Spiders are still hanging out. Uh, how do we want to... You want to swap. Ah, fucking step one, you son of a bitch. All right, I guess I just open with this card. All right. Today's Kenny's day. Yes, I just opened with Potagree. Today is Kenny's day, guys. All right. He might, he hope might so. finally get one. He might finally get one. I hope so. After game one and these last couple boxes, my boxes have been so shit. And Kenny's gotten fucking Force of Century, Spellbinding Circle now, Jinzo, Swords. I'm getting Ryan. fucking clapped. I need some better boxes. Ryan. Come on, you right. gods. Please. You just realized, as I'm looking at this face down monster, you were like, I thought we were past this. Bitch, you still have Aquamador, all right? I'm not trying all to right. hear it. You should have said that when it heck, when it came up. I just realized. <laughs> now I'm about to attack into this monster, and it's going to be a fucking Aquamador. <laughs> or Sandgan. I'm not trying to hear it. All right. I hope it's just Sandgan. I hope it's not Aquamador. I'm going to summon the rat. Yep. I'm going to play Gaia Power. Mm-hmm. So he's 19. So at least I'll only take 100. I'll attack. It's just Sandgan. See, you open with him. Yes, it is just Sangan. 
All right, let's see. What are we getting? Hmm. Just remember, whatever you get, I'm just going to forceful century it. You know? That, well just, that could that could happen. That, might as well just just don't get anything. That's a thing that could happen. But you know, we can't we can't account for the rain, you know? Did you get Witch of the Black Forest? I don't even know. I did not. I did not get Witch of the Black Forest, no. And I did not get Sandgan. You see this little duality we're That's doing? so weird. So weird how that happens. Alright, I got a... Uh, Wait, what did you get in my bed? I didn't see it. Cyberjar. Okay. Cyberjar. Cyberjar. Cyber Cyber. Um, do you want to cyber with me? <laughs> not um, this. Um <laughs> uh yeah, end turn. Just another magic Monday. Um, hmm. Um, what card is that? Let me think. I think I'm gonna go with this. Oh shit. So what am I? Twenty-three, so you take four hundred. Yeah, oh, is. shit. Um, what should I get? The giant rat looks fucking terrifying. And the fact that it's holding a human skull. Yeah, he's wild. That tells you that he's actually giant. Yes. Right? Because, like, a giant rat could still be way smaller than a human, right? Yeah. A giant rat could be the size of, like, I don't know, a dog or something. But this giant rat. Yeah, no, I'm terrified. He's, he's real fucking big. Interesting. Okay, that zebra. That zebra's doing that thing. Hold on. I, I want to look at his effect again. This is the only card in your control during your standby phase. Oh, wait. So if you set a trap, does he not Correct. switch to defense mode? Correct. Oh, wow. You're pretty much never switched to defense mode, basically. I see. I see. Unless, like, you know, things go wrong. So he's a hoe, is what you're telling me. He's something. He's a hoe, is what you're telling me. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Mad sword beast. Our turn. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna activate swords. Yep. And then I'm gonna set one. And my turn. So you don't wanna do anything here. Damn, I wish I got Dark Zebra. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stop. What? He's big as shit. You've gotten so many big monsters. <laughs> I didn't even know Jiraigumo came out until you summoned it after Metal Raiders. I was like, what the fuck? I looked at, I went right to my collection after that. I was like, I didn't get any of this. And it's a common. That is correct. I think I packed like seven of them. Yeah. Like I, I think Dark, so Dark Zebra, man. I think I have like seven or some random shit of it. <laughs> All right. Yep. I'm going to play Pot of Greed. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now I wish I took a screenshot of my deck so I could look at it. Painful choice. All right. Five. All right, these are the five. Yeah. Three stem packs. Um, let's see. Let's do share the pain. Alrighty, to my hand. Grave to grave to grave to grave. All right, I'll just share the pain. Yep. Your pain okay. shall be twofold. All right. Still has a face down card. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? A uh, battle attack. Main phase two. Set. And set. And turn. It's the second turn of swords. Yes, sir. Oh! I get more life from my Gumo. <laughs> I'm getting more Gumo points. Fucking Gumo points is wild. <laughs> all right. We've We're... got all the Gumo points. We are going to go with Summon Gear Free. The Iron Knight. Summon good? Um, Summon is good. Summon... Oh. Or, hold on. Uh... Oh, fuck. All right. When you said Summon's going to end my turn. I think. I'm just going to say fuck it and try to pull him. Pass. Um, flip summon. Flip summon witch is good. I will attack with witch. Take 11. And then attack with mad sword beast. Mm -hmm. And then main phase two, I will set one. Oh my god, these draws. 
Not this. Clear pass. Our turn. Uh, I think Swords is gone, right? Yes. Hain Hain. Hane Hane. Uh, put him in your hand. And then, what does that add up to? Uh, it's over 3,100. I know that. Hmm. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> what? I'm innocent. <laughs> because cause you didn't just, like, scoop. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that you have Mirror Force set. I just don't. Why would you think that? Don't like that you have Mirror Force set. That's so fucking rude. Um, I will attack with Mad Sword Beast. I don't care if you have gores. Not fucking gores. And then I'll attack with Witch of the Black Forest. And then I'll attack with Hain Hain. GG. We won one! Hooray! All right, Kenny's on the board. We are currently three and one. Pop the confetti. Let me see, do I have an air horn? Yeah. Right, so... It'll be confetti in post. No, there won't. I was about to say. Um, all right, so <laughs> this this set was really hard for me. Uh, I drew a lot of monsters. Like, I just have so many fucking monsters. And... The problem with having monsters is that they're fine if you can attack. The swords actually killed me both games. Like, I, I think that literally I could deal with everything else. But, like, not being able to attack is... I see why, like, people don't like Gravity Bind, Level Limit, and stuff like that. Because it just, like... Yeah. It makes the game so fucking hard. So not being able to attack is actually a big yeah. deal. Because um, I could have dealt that's with way earlier. Yeah, the thing that's good about swords is it just, like... At least it has a time limit, whereas yeah. Gravity Bind... Not, the thing that's really bad about Gravity Bind is it also makes it so that the person that plays it might not be able to play the game either. So you're both just sitting there. Yeah, but the person who plays it, they know that, like, that's what they're building their deck to do. Yeah, yeah. So it makes it, like, really toxic one-sided because you're like, you intended this to be the game state, whereas your opponent is just like, I just want yeah. to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I didn't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't get my pot this game and... I got potted twice, so I was like, I don't think I'm going to win this. And then when Swords came down again, I was like, oh, no. Now I definitely can't win. Yeah. Swords uh, definitely say... The thing that's really good about Swords is it only ever... You only ever really need it for one turn. Yeah, you don't need it for all three. Yeah. The, the, other, yeah. the other turns are just, like, gratuitous, but you don't yeah. need it for all three. Your deck is so fucking broken, though. Like, I need my next couple boxes to, like, catch the fuck up because I am getting savaged out here. Like, absolutely savaged. So I almost, I almost took out the Earth package. Mm -hmm. Um, so I got Jinzo, and then like my brain went full, like just want to summon Jinzo, and yeah. so I put in like last set, I packed two UFO turtles and two Shining Angels, mm -hmm. and I was like, I might just put these in just so I have recruiter, so I have people on the board, and so like I thin my deck just so I can get Jinzo, and so I made my deck and I did that, and then I was just like, and then I looked at Mad Sword Beast, and I was like. Man, I don't know. I think the Earth Package is still kind of good. I was like, I can get him with Giant Rat and Gaia Power, and uh, yeah, no, I so like I, the Earth I, Package. Yeah, I kept the I kept it as an Earth deck. I like Giant Rat, Med Sword Beast, and then I kept the Stim Packs in. Man, do I wish I got Axe of Despair. Uh, yeah, but Axe of Despair is ultra rare, so I'm not surprised but, uh, that we didn't get that card because I didn't get Axe of Despair either. Stim Pack is nice though. It's been putting in work for him. Yeah, Stim Pack is fucking good. Stim Pack is just blatantly good. Um, the drawback is not even real. Did you get my level? No, the drawback's never real. Mm. I don't actually I think I might have gotten that I don't remember what that does though I it's think just, I might have got it and I just like skim because I didn't feel like reading every single card I know so that's what's been taking me so long when it comes to like some of the cards I don't remember and I'm like I'm pretty sure this card is butt. like I was like let me just read respect play and I'm like why am I wasting my time reading respect play <laughs> yeah yeah like, yeah I, started I did that reading, a couple times yeah I've been reading cards that like they're not good cards but I don't remember if they might be good in this specific niche format that we're playing. And it's like, okay, these cards aren't actually that bad here. I don't want to miss anything. So I've been reading bullshit. Like I've been reading yeah, yeah. some bullshit. Okay. So I actually did pack Ma Malevolent Nuzzler, but because I remember, I didn't even read it. Cause I remember Malevolent Nuzzler yeah. and I remember being like, whatever, that card sucks. And so I didn't even reread it. See? But that's, reading that's it what, now, it's just, I mean. it's just a better stim pack. Yes. So I should play it. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll catch you in the next one. Oh, um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Gotta click admit defeat. I did already. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. I'm a normal person. Where? I don't, uh, I missed it. Yeah. You're an idiot. I missed I'm it. a normal person. I no, clicked no, admit no, defeat no, immediately. No, no, no. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, it no, I, I've been did that. We got one on the bo board, boys. Thanks for cheering for me, whoever you are.
appreciate it. Okay, the next set is going to be Labyrinth of Nightmare. And I remember that this is a good set. I don't remember what's in it, and I'm not going to look at it until we actually get to that episode. Uh, but I'm excited for Labyrinth of Nightmare and Legacy of Darkness. So, yeah, those are the next two sets. And I think with that, we'll catch our next one. Peace. Peace.